Guys, today I'm going to talk about something very concerning that is happening right there out in the open. And this has big implications for Binance, for Justin Sun, Tron, and TUSD, guys. A lot of important information here today. So I will also talk about what you need to pay attention to moving into this weekend. A lot of important charts. So uh, yeah, make sure to stick around from the beginning until the end. Welcome back everybody, my name is Chris, bringing you cryptocurrency videos every day, teaching you how to make money in this market. If you're new to the channel, then make sure to subscribe and activate the bell right now. So guys, let's talk about Bitcoin first on the 4 hourly time frame. You can see that since yesterday, we actually did have a decent pump. We went up to 30,421, which was actually just a few hundred dollars from actually reaching the take profit price on most of these... Uh, Bots, yeah, you can see 30,600. Uh, and yeah, if you just pumped $200 more, we would have hit that take profit price. But hey, this is the life of a uh, bot trader. Didn't manage to do that. Instead, we did see a quite significant drop. And why did we see this drop? Well, data com came out that the US labor market is still strong. So people are not really filing as much for unemployment as the market was expected so the market is still pretty strong the job market and of course we know that the fed does not like this the fed wants to see the job market completely wrecked they want to see people unemployed they want to see people lose their jobs and live on the streets and uh, this is not what we're seeing instead we're seeing people actually have jobs they're actually you know getting by day by day which according to the fed i mean is not good because it pushes up inflation because if people have money well, then they have money to spend on things, and if they have money to spend on things, then the prices continues to rise, or at least they are not going down. So um, this is what uh, caused this drop yesterday. But as you know, guys, um, I am in a mindset right now of buying every single dip, and we do have some key levels to buy from. If you watched my video yesterday, I added them on Bybit. You can see right here, we have one order at 26400 and one at 29,125. So what are those orders actually? Well, they are the 50 uh, day moving average right here and the 200 day moving average right here. And I talked about this fractal in depth yesterday. So make sure to watch my video from yesterday if you want to know why. But here's the thing, the traditional markets also did see a drop yesterday based on that news. And you can see that we are right above support. In fact, you can see we got a bounce right before we hit the support right here. So, uh, I mean, things are not looking bad. I mean, the, we're a couple of percent from the previous all-time high in the traditional markets. So things are not looking bad. However, I do not like us being below this red line for Bitcoin. Now, for the DXY, we might have some kind of saving grace. Because moving into the weekend, you can see that today we are having, uh, on the weekly time frame here, we're having a big bounce in the dollar index. So dollar has been going up. However, you're approaching the first point of resistance here. So it's going to take a little bit to break above this level. So maybe we're going to have a little bit of a rejection from this point, And then that is going to be good for assets overall. So those are some key things to watch out for now moving into the weekend. Now, there's a couple of very important things going on. The first one is that Justin Sun is printing money like crazy. He's basically, from what we can see here, and this is my suspicion, he's printing TUSD from thin air. Okay, so he's printing the stable coin. He's basically putting it into his own exchanges, UOB and, uh, and Poloniex. He's depositing TUSD, which has a value of $1 currently. But again, if he's printing it out of thin air, it doesn't really in reality have $1 value, but it's just kind of booked as $1 value. And then he deposits it to exchanges and he borrows USDT and other cryptos with it, which is, you know, uh, if TUSD goes south, then there's going to be all of these unbacked um, assets that are going to cause mass liquidations for the customers of UOB and on Poloniex and so on. And also on uh, Bitfinex is using this. So, um, yeah, this is not a good look. And all of this is taking place in broad daylight. Like, it's doing it very, very openly. And the big question is, since you're able to use TUSD on Binance, Binance are pushing TUSD like crazy. They're doing all these promotions. Use TUSD. And CZ is seeing all of this. Why is he doing all of these promotions? Why are Binance doing all these promotions for TUSD when something sketchy is clearly going on here? 
Um, this is the big million dollar question. And I don't have the answer for that, but the answer is going to come out in due time. And also, Binance are cutting staff right now. They have actually offered people to resign from Binance and get a three month uh, salary to quit. So why are they having to, and they already, you know, um, uh, resigned 100 pe uh, sorry, 1,000 people got laid off previously. And now they're continuously also laying off more and more people and trying to cut their costs. So Binance, the most successful cryptocurrency exchange out there, right now I'm starting to get a little bit like, why is all of this going on right now? I mean, Coinbase are not cutting staff. Kraken are not cutting staff. All these other exchanges, they're not cutting staff like crazy like Binance are. And Binance is making way more money than these exchanges. So yeah, I don't know, something is going on and I don't know why Binance were allowing or allowing uh, Justin Sun to use the exchange and uh, use TUSD. Does he have some kind of leverage on Binance and on CZ? I don't know, we will find out over time. For my trading strategies, you can see that they have accumulated quite juicy positions, which are at unrealized pro uh, losses here. So pretty significant positions have been accumulated. Just like I said yesterday, we were very close to actually hitting that take profit. For now, I'm gonna keep these uh, running as they are, but you can see that the positions are being filled more and more. In fact, since the big drop we had a couple of days ago, um, we have had those positions filled. So five on the cycle bots, six on the slow bots, and nine and eight on the fast bots for Bitcoin and Ethereum. So um, yeah, very interesting stuff here, but we are below the big psychological $30,000 level as well as this big support and resistance. So we will see where Bitcoin is going to go, but I have my buy orders ready already here. So I will just let this do its thing and we will see if the price continues to go down, I will adjust accordingly and I will, uh, yeah, of course, take action on that. Now, if you want to use these trading strategies yourself with the Bitcoin price, going lower, it's of course a better opportunity to get in than if the price is higher. So you do have the link in the description. Right here you can claim up to $60,000 in bonuses by clicking on this link right here. And then you can click my uh, settings right here if you want to use them. With one click you can set them up with the exact same settings. Guys, that's what I got for you. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.